Hey, welcome everyone. Thanks for joining us today inside of the Wells Tech Garage for this week's episode of CounterPoint. I'm again joined here by Adam from the catalog department. Hi, thanks for having me, Mike. Thanks for being here. So today, guys, we're going to be talking about TPMS or tire pressure monitoring systems. In front of us, we got a whole bunch of different stuff. Why, Adam, why are we talking about TPMS today? Uh, basically, it's because of the 2008 uh, mandate that the okay. federal government put in place that all cars must have some sort of uh, tire pressure monitoring. Okay, and I guess the most efficient way or the, the easiest way that they've come across is to uh, you know, go ahead and throw some sensors in the wheels to actually monitor the pressure. Mm -hmm. Downside of that is the fact that these sensors have batteries in them. They don't last forever. Exactly. So those 2008 vehicles, you know, they're starting to starting to go bad. Mm -hmm. You know, in the industry, we see between five to you know seven-ish years on uh, battery life. You know, you can see them up as far as ten. So, if you haven't run into TPMS issues already on your vehicle, chances are you will be short. It's shortly. coming through exactly. So, sitting in front of us here, we got uh, one, two, three, four, five, six different boxes of sensors. How come there's so many here? Well, there really aren't that many here. Okay. These six sensors right here cover yep. ninety-five percent of vehicles on the road. Ninety-five percent of the vehicles on the road. Exactly. Wow. Yes. You know, if we had OE sensors here, it would probably take a yeah, couple of table, Yeah, it'd the table, right? exactly. It'd probably it'd hundreds, more, right? It'd be hundreds of sensors. So six different sensors here, and they can cover 95% of the vehicles on the road. But really, in all reality, guys, there's really only two different sensors out there for your vehicle. There's going to be a 315 megahertz sensor and a 433 megahertz sensor. And that's going to be the way the sensor um, electronically communicates back with the module that's receiving the information from the tire. Now, we have six different numbers here, Adam. What's the, what's the difference between the six numbers? Basically, it's the style of the valve stem. So okay. You basically you have a rubber valve stem. Sure. You have a, a black aluminum, okay. and you have a silver aluminum. Okay, so it's really a personal preference at that point. Exactly. And there's yeah. nothing really that states if you pull a rubber valve stem sensor out of your vehicle that you have to put a aluminum one in or a, a rubber one back in or whatever. You get to pick, right? That's correct. As long as you uh, put in that same frequency of sensor. Yes, it's definitely on the radio frequency. Right. So. And actually, for those of you guys that are familiar with the Ford system where they run the band inside of the wheel and the sensor is attached to that band, uh, you can actually replace that with a valve stem style sensor with our universal exactly. style sensor here. Save you some money. Yeah, exactly. Those bands can get expensive. Mm -hmm. All right, so why don't we uh, pull one out of yeah. the box and so see what we got. Today I'm going to work on the TPMS 6. We're going okay. to pull that right out of your right. example. So, first of all, we have a serviceable valve stem. Okay. So, this is a black aluminum. Okay, so if I'm doing a set of tires on my vehicle, I already have these sensors on. Mm -hmm. I can service just the valve stem by itself. Yes, that'd be a TPMS 9 or TPMS 10. Okay, so. and this is only of the aluminum valve stems, correct? Correct, the rubber valve stems are not serviced okay. presently. Okay, so just like you guys when you used to change out your tires before TPMS sensors, you would always do valve stems on that tire service. Well, you can still do just the valve stem without having to replace the sensor. You just get a TPMS 9 or TPMS 10. That's correct. Excellent. So, then we have the sensor itself. Okay. And this is a sensor that goes down inside of the wheel. And this one is black. The color's important. Mm -hmm. A black sensor is 433 megahertz. And a gray sensor, like a TPMS 3 here, is going to be a 315 megahertz sensor. That's correct. Alrighty. And then we have the... Uh, the famous instruction sheet. The ever important instruction yes, sheet. Yes, definitely. All so. right. And that just has some uh, programming yeah. information. Yes, it does. Installation information. It tells you, in what, there. you know, it helps you set these up. Excellent. So. Okay. Yeah. Well, I want to call out what's some things on the box here because yes. there's some important there information some on the box. There is definitely important information. There. First of all, right on the front here, you know, it says TPMS programmable sensor. And right underneath there, it says wellsve.com forward slash TPMS. So that's going to be the website where you can find out all of this information related to TPMS. Um, we actually have, I believe, six different videos out mm -hmm. there uh, pertaining to um, how to program these sensors, how to use them, what sensors do what, you know, how to work through the tool and that kind of thing. Now, the most important part about the box right here is on this side right here in nice red lettering. It says, sensor must be programmed by Wells TPMS 1 or TPMS 2 prior to installation. This is super, super important because this is the reason why we're able to cover 95% of the vehicles on the road using only six, six different sensors. part numbers. It's because the sensors need to be programmed. They're a universal programmable sensor. Okay, Adam, so TPMS 1, TPMS 2, what yes. do we got? What so are TPMS 1, yep. actually I have something like that right there. It's, the, okay. uh, it's, a, it's a full kit. Okay, so like has, a starter kit, right? Exactly, so it has four sensors in it. Okay. It has the programmer. Okay. And the USB cable. 
All right. And the uh, instruction sheet, and also, uh, you know, the uh, you need to power it. So okay, yeah, the, the <laughs> need charger. To charge it. Yep, the charging okay. cable. And the TPMS two. That just excludes the sensors. Otherwise, it's the uh, rest of the. Cable. Okay, so it's the tool yes, essentially. The, the programmer tool. and TPMS two. To make it work. TPMS mm -hmm. one is going to be the starter kit, and mm -hmm. it includes two 315 megahertz sensors and two 433. That's correct. Okay, so now down in the tech department. This is where, you know, pertaining to the tool and the programming and that kind of thing is where I get most of our calls. Mm -hmm. um, and it comes down to a lot of people forgetting to do step one. So let's call this a two-step process. Now, typically with a TPMS sensor, if you were to get the OE style, you'd be able to install it immediately into the wheel. Unfortunately, if you pull our sensor directly out of the box and install it in our wheel, or in your wheel, you're going to have to remove that sensor. Yes. Unfortunately. Yes, unfortunately. These sensors, again, are going to come out of the box. They're going to come out blank. They yes. need to be told what kind of car they're going in because, again, they're a universal programmable sensor. Mm -hmm. So this sensor currently doesn't know if it's going in a Mercedes or a Dodge or a Chevy or a Volkswagen or whatever. It has no idea. Mm -hmm. You have to tell it what kind of vehicle it's going in, and that is done with the programmer. Now, our Wells TPMS sensors, universal sensors, have to go in the Wells TPMS programmer and vice versa. The only sensors that can be programmed with the Wells programmer are the Wells sensors. Mm -hmm. So you take the sensor, install it into the tool, physically has to be installed into the tool. It can have the valve stem mounted on it, it will fit. Uh, then you have to push up this little tab right here and lock the sensor in place, turn it on, go through the menus to select make, model, and year. And after it says it's been programmed successfully, you're finally ready to install it into the wheel at that point. Mm -hmm. So if you have any questions on programming or anything like that, there are three different options for programming. You'll find all of those videos out on our website to uh, do a full walkthrough on that. But the important thing that I want to note here, guys, is that this is step one, okay? We, ha we have a two-step process here. We have to program the sensor first before it can be installed in the wheel. Otherwise, you're going to have to do double the work and mm. unfortunately pull them back out of the wheel. Yeah. So after the sensor's been programmed, it's just like the OE style sensor then at that point. It's ready to go in the wheel and then the relearn process is ready to be done. Now, benefit of our tool is it's able to relearn any manufacturer's sensors. So if you put the vehicle in its relearn mode, every vehicle is going to be different, you're able to ping the sensors and tell the vehicle that you just installed new sensors using our tool. So great little, uh, great little benefit of the tool right there. Exactly. So I guess, what is the whole benefit of these universal style sensors? It really comes down to cost, right? Exactly, cost and just ease. I mean, you can look okay. at all, we can service, like we were talking about, you can service 95% sure. of so the So if vehicles, you're a shop or a tire center, exactly. you can keep you know, six different part numbers instead of, I don't know, 600 different part numbers exactly. to service all these different vehicles. So that's, that's, that's really the key to this That kit. is really so, awesome. Yep. Okay, well I think that's gonna be about it uh, for today. Oh, one more thing I wanted to mention. You talked about a USB cable for the yes. tool. That's going to connect the tool to your computer. Benefit of buying this tool from us and, and buying a Wells product is that we stand behind our stuff. You're going to get free updates for the tool. So when new model years come out, we're going to update the tool and update the information in it for free. Just head out to our website, you know, plug in the computer to the uh, tool and go through the update procedure. So that's always going to be free to you guys. So every year when a new model comes out, you know, we'll, we'll yeah, take we'll care of that it. update. Exactly. So, okay. Well, I think right. that's about it for, uh, about it for me. Did you have yeah, anything no, else? Yeah, that, no, that's, that's it for me too. So. All right. Just to bring it full circle and uh, bring it back around, we have universal TPMS sensors, six different part numbers, but really only a 315 or 433. It's mm -hmm. personal preference on what valve stem you want. Mm -hmm. And it's a two-step process. The sensors need to be programmed before they go in the wheel and then relearned to the vehicle after that. So, all right. All right. I think that's it. That's it. All right. Well, thank you guys for being there. Without you being there, we would not be here. We appreciate it. And we'll see you again next time in the Wells Tech Garage.